Hi everyone, I'm Grattles, and welcome to a new series in City Skylines. I took a long time choosing a map and really just choosing what I wanted to do in the series as a whole. Um, so I ended up keeping with the base game maps and I chose Shady Strands and the reason being is it's got a lot of natural resources and outside connections. The first square has like a quadrant separated by water and road. And I thought that would help us to build a little slower. Um, I chose a name for it, which is New Brighton. I'm going to keep it on right-handed traffic. Now, as far as unlocking milestones and unlimited money... I think I'm going to keep everything off. I've been playing around both ways and I really like to use a checkbox with my milestones. So I really like to go and hit each milestone and check off everything that we need to put in. And it kind of reminds me of things to put into the game, which is helpful. And with the unlimited money too, I don't I don't find a challenge with that. I like to start making money. I like being on a budget. Um as far as the unlimited oil and ore and soil, we may turn that on later on. Well, probably almost definitely if we go into that industry type. Otherwise, we constantly have to move them. So, uh yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So I have been saying I do want to do this in real time, show everybody what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. I do want to do a more detailed build, so it is going to take a long time to do as far as I really want to put different size houses in, put trees, put fencing, just make everything look a little bit more crisp and clean and nice. So that's where I'm at with this right now. So I hope I can put up or shut up. So hopefully I can do what I say. So this is the map. Well, the first square. Um, I'm going to go ahead into areas. And one of the reasons why I chose this map, yes, it is similar to what I like to choose as far as it's fairly level uh, land, but I do see that I could keep this in a square with my nine squares and still have quite a bit of access to everything. I have railroads and water. We have the airlines everywhere. We have some roads over here. Um, so I just thought this was nice as far as different. A little, it's it's a little different, but not too different yet so uh yeah let's go ahead and show you the square so this is the square and i there was a couple of times i thought oh if i started with unlimited money i could move this highway or use it do it differently you know there was a couple of different ideas with this but um Overall, I chose to just stick with it and keep to a budget. Um, one major thing I want to show you is it is a rocky map. There is bunches of rocks everywhere. And before I get started with building, I think I'm going to go ahead and delete these rocks off of here. I'm just going to go into here, making sure I do not hit that parkway. I do not want to hit the highway at all. So I'm just going to go in and get close, but not too close. I'm going to delete the ones in the water as well. And you can hear all those rocks getting obliviated. All right, let's go on this side. All 
right, so we did go ahead and delete all the rocks in the area. Now, before I turn off this delete button, I'm going to back it back down to blue. Um, reason being is I have a bad habit of putting in roads, going to delete something, and it being this big and deleting everything. And yeah, I've, I don't want to tell you how many times... I've done that, so let's, again, I almost got out of it. So, looking at this map, like I said, it has these quadrants in here. These four little squares here. We have a nice bit of farming right over in here. Um, I think we will use that for farming. I think we're going to do a nice residential area in here. And... I think I'm going to start off by putting some services over in this area. Uh, it's, a, it's the smallest out of the four. And it's kind of got a really rocky edge. They all do. I'm thinking once we have a little bit more in our budget and we unlock the terrain tool, we'll smooth some of this out. But for now, we'll kind of keep most of the build off the edge here. So with that said, let's see how we want to start this build. Now, let's just take a quick look at our natural resources. So we do have plenty of forestry, which that is the one thing we can um, make ourselves. So I'm not too worried about the forestry. Over here, we do have this really nice patch of farming. So that is definitely where I want to put an industry. We have a little bit of farming down in here. And we have over here a good amount of forestry, but nothing too crazy. Like I said, that is something we can make on our own. So let's see where we want to go with this. Um, eventually, obviously, I want to put, um, a highway off to both sides. Or maybe on this side as well. So, I'm not sure exactly. I don't need to do anything crazy or major around here, but... Let's go ahead and put down our first... Load and delete that. And... Hmm... Let's see. Let's go ahead and just attach this really quick. And this is really harsh. It's not very level over here. We do have more rocks, as I can see, right around here. Like I said, I didn't want to get too close to this. Okay, I think we got most of it here. That's better. Um, do we want to do a roundabout? What do we want to do? It's kind of odd because I don't really want to keep this highway at all. So I've thought about doing a six lane and then coming off with four lanes and then a residential. And at the beginning, though, our money is so tight, so we really have to be thoughtful of how much money we do spend. So I'm thinking, for now, let's go ahead and go into... Yeah, let's go ahead and do the four lane. And we'll just come down. One, two, four. We'll go to four. And by using the four lane, let's see, the four lane is 60, and this one is 80. So we can upgrade this later on, but because it has the right width, so that's a good thing. We're just going to connect this up, and I noticed this the other day. I had a problem connecting with this when I did this. So we're just going to do that for now. It's a little wonky, but... And I almost did it with the orange. There we go. So yeah, I don't like this. But for now, 
due to money issues. We're just going to stick with that. Um, and I think we're going to just go into our gravel roads. And we're just going to do a little bit of not curved industry. So we do need some polluting industry to start. So we're just going to do something small. And we do need something for our services. Let's come down this way. Come up by one. And will that be enough? Um, maybe not. But I don't want to pollute this water either. We'll put a little bit extra in here. All right. So now we are about what sixty-three five. So let's go ahead and put in what we're going to use to power our city. We're going to use coal. And we are going to use our inland water. That is from Sunset Harbor. And we do need our water. So let's put a pipe down in here. And we should run it pretty parallel to that water coming straight down. That is perfect. And we still have plenty of coverage over here. Let's just take this down. Actually, why don't we just do our 460 and take this right across into here, just as some guide. And I don't think we could run it from here. Oh, we can. Perfect. Okay, so we're actually lined up pretty good there. Sorry about the click clack of my dog's feet. He does it every time I'm doing commentary. Every time. He'll sit quiet until I start getting on. And then as soon as I start to make a video, he has to click clack away. So, I think, let's see, how much do we have left? Ah, huh, 35. We still have to run water. Um, do we just want to run this straight across? This would be 90 right here. This would cost quite a bit of money. 88.60. You know what? We went to 10 grand, approximately. That would leave us with 25. Let's do it. And it's not going to be enough to get us over down in here. I want to do that. But for now, I think we'll stick with some gravel roads. We'll save a little money on that. We're going to take this up by about 12. I am going to kill that dog. Sorry. And we're going to just grid out just a little bit. I don't want to stick to grids. I've been saying that. But I think over here we're going to just start this out with a bit of a grid like that. Because this is where I'm going to follow this road down and then turn it into here and then come across and this will be our farm. So this will be our first little neighborhood of residence. So I'm going to pretty much grid this out. Um, let's see how much we have here. I do want to keep this off by one. I want a space in between. And... Yeah, we'll do just like that. I'm going to do another one in here. Like I said, I'm not sticking with grids. I'm just doing it to just start a city 
to make sure we can get a good start in. So now I think we'll do that. We'll come to here, come in and run this road like that. And that should be enough, but I think we can squeeze in without getting to the edge edge. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. There's a dead end there. And maybe a small dead end in here. So that's going to be our residence. It's not great not having commercial over here. We're going to have to probably put in... You know what? Looking at our budget, we still have 19. So I'm going to say let's go for it and let's run this down at least at least to here no we you know what we have the budget so i'm gonna go over here i'm gonna grab a gravel i'm gonna come down by 12. i believe that's 12 yes i'm gonna come over here we're gonna run this down like I said, we've got the budget for it, so let's go and do it. Yes, we do. And we're going to stop... Yep, we're going to do it. And let's go ahead and grab this and attach that here. So I think... And maybe over here, why not? I think this is a good enough start. We still have water to run, but we still have 12,000 in the bank. So we are good. So believe it or not, I didn't think we'd be able to do it. But we are good. So let's go ahead and do that. And I think right from this road, let's go ahead up to 460. Come back. And let's go ahead and do 460 on this side. Let's do it. All right. So we still have 6-9 in the bank. We do have to bring this electric from here to our water and across our lake. So we're good to there. And I guess we'll start filling in from our dead end street over here let's come right to here and I would say we're good I'm not exactly sh I do not see this is what I was talking about it's it's a flat map but it's not that flat because this is all going to have to get addressed later on because I do not this is horrible so this actually see this big high it's a big high hill over here. I think I'm going to go ahead and flatten that out a bit later on. At least somewhat. Because I don't like the way this sits and comes down here. And I do not like the entrance over here. As you can see, this, this is horrible. But... We are just going to get started. So, before we turn on anything, I'm going to just select a little bit. So, I want this to be much more spaced out. I want to leave a space between the houses. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fill in like threes and three by fours. Maybe three by threes. Another four by three. Um, maybe we'll do a three by three. And what this will do, well, we're not going to fill in this one actually. What this is going to do is it's going to give us different houses. So that's what I'm looking to do. And I also am looking to just have a little bit different. Uh, feel to it. Let's see. 
Maybe we'll do a two by three on this side, two by three on this side, and a three by three on the edge here. And over here, why don't we do a, you know what, let's do a nice four by four. And we'll do another four by three. And we'll do a four by four, a three by three, a three by four, and a four by four. We'll leave it off of that edge there a little bit. We'll do a three by four, three by three, a four by four, and a four by three like that. Come over here. We'll do a three by three. Another three by three. Mm. You know what? We need room for a school. I think we're going to keep off somewhat of this. Mm. Let's run. Think, 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 think. I do you want to park maybe here and then the school? So, I could run a little road up here too. This could be maybe like for the high school. We could run a road in here and place the high school in here. Which I am not. I think that might be good. I actually like that idea. And. Over in here, we could put a park in the center right there. And maybe some medical or, you know what, we could do elementary and medical in here. And we can do the high school over here. And a park over here. So maybe what we'll do, we'll do the elementary in here. A park right about here. High school here. We'll do like a plaza on the inside of here, and maybe a plaza down on this corner. I don't know, but that's where I'm kind of going with that. So why don't we go ahead and turn down our budget. Yeah, let's go ahead and turn it all the way down. Let's try to get some money in as fast as we can. The next thing we're going to do is... We are going to start our game. Yeah, I think we're good. Alright, so let's turn this on three speed. Let's go into our residential some more. This is going to be the park area, the school, and the medical. We can come along this edge and do some building in here. And... We're going to need the houses anyway. You know what? We'll just do 4x4 four four and 4x4. Four 4x3. Four. Four we'll keep off of here. Um, let's come into here. Do a 4x4. Four 3x4. Four. 3x3. Three four. Three 3x4. Three and a three by four that way. We could put one on the edge here. Let's just do something like that. And they'll be right across the street from the high school. Now this does take a lot of patience to build like this because you spend a lot of time. You're not just quickly filling in so it can get monotonous after a while um but this is what i signed up for i do want to do a build that is just a bit more detailed and by detailed i think this will help us to get a lot more uh fences trees let's take a look really quick 
So this is how it's going to look. It's going to be a lot more spaced out. Now I don't want two houses. These aren't exactly the same. This one's back a little further. This one's a little closer up. But I think we're going to... Let's delete that one and let that come in a little bit different. I don't want it too much the same. Same thing with these guys. These guys are exactly the same. Let's see if we can get something a little different. Let's come down in here. That looks pretty good. All different houses. Now we got this brown one and this brown one. They are similar. They're the same actually. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. And let's just turn on this because this helps to see which style houses come in. So the 3x3 three three come in like that. Some of them. Some of them come in like this. That's a 2x3. I don't mind the 2x3s. They look nice. Over here we did get a different one now. And we'll see what comes in over here. Maybe we'll cut off. Actually, why don't we make that a 2x3 and see what comes in there. Because this is a 2x3 and I like this house. It's not bad. So now we do have a huge demand for commercial and industrial. So let's go ahead and fill in the same way. We'll do a 4x4, four 4x3, four, four 3x3, three, 3x4, three 4x3, three, three 4x4, four four three, four four, 3x3, three 3x4 three that way. So that, um, let's see, how are we going to end up here? We did that. Did that, and then we'll do another. There we go. I don't know if we have enough 4x4s, four four but... Yeah, that's good enough. Alright. Industrial. I don't care how we put in industrial as long as we meet the demand, because we're going to probably delete it anyway. So we'll just throw it in. <coughs> and, uh, yeah, let's just let it run. We'll come over here. And go ahead and fill in a little bit more. Three by four. I'm sorry if I'm being annoying. Sometimes it takes away the monotonous of it by speaking out loud. Go ahead and start filling in some more houses. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. 
Alright, so now we have some more. Um, let's see. This is like our last row that I'm going to fill in. I think we should, over here, I'm going to keep this off, I think, until we can do something and build barriers. Because it will be noisy. Okay, so before I get to the milestone, I just want to finish this up. Um, let's go here. Let's go here. Cut off this. There we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and address the milestone. And the milestone we have, let's see, taxes and loans, garbage, healthcare, education. So let's go ahead and hit that. Let's go ahead and turn this budget up a little bit. So we'll do 60, 70, and 80. Go ahead and knock these taxes up to 12. And we'll take that loan. Um, we need our garbage. So let's go ahead and put our garbage right here. And that should carry our electric without a problem. We still have to get to our second milestone before we can do that. But let's go ahead and put in healthcare. Um, go ahead and put healthcare right in here. And elementary right in here. Like so. And let's go ahead and draw in just a couple more roads for industry because we're going to need them I think that might be enough so let's leave that there for now and they're already complaining about garbage let's see maybe we'll just put that there so this way garbage trucks can get there faster and right now we have a a higher demand for more residents. So let's go ahead and fill up this last one right here. So I don't like the way this came out. Hold on. Uh, let's do this. Let's take out that. Let's take out this. I'm going to 
take this away a second. I'm gonna do two. And then we'll do that. Alright, there we go. So that looks about... Yeah, that looks good. Alright, so we still have this side to do some commercial. Let's see where we went down to here. Yeah, we got this. We're going to do a plaza in here. Or a park, something. Um, I think we're going to have to start building another neighborhood. On the other side of this. Either on this side or this side. So let's go ahead and start planning out a little bit. Because I did want to upgrade the roads, but due to the fact that we are going to have a need to fill up more residents, because as you can see we have a demand, um, and we don't really... We could put a few more actually back here. Go ahead and do this. I did not want to go on there. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's just do a 4x4 four four right there on the corner. Oh no. I'm going to do the park in here. I keep forgetting. Alright, so we're going to leave that off of there. And we still have a high demand for our residents. So, hmm. Let's come on down here. This I'm going to lay off of. Because coming in here, we're getting way too close to the parkway. Don't want to do that. I'll come down by one here. And we'll come up by 11 here. And we'll come in like that. Now what I think we'll do is we'll come up. And let's go ahead and start doing some curved roads in here and it would help if I got it on curved roads is going to be a bigger neighborhood. So I did hit the edge here. I don't want to hit that edge too far. I'm going to back this up just a little bit. And it's not because I don't want to make it, you know, like I did the last time where I came to the edge. Because I do plan on opening the square. Opening this square next to it. So I'm not worried about that. It's more of I'm trying to just keep it more cohesive, I guess. Let's come to here. Actually, let's come here. Um. 
go in the middle here. I'm sorry. I'm when I get concentrating, I start not talking, and uh, that's a problem. Uh, so uh, I will try to remember to talk. So right now I'm just drawing in some just random different looks here. I'm trying to keep it a little more loose. I think in this area I might do a little bit of grids inside the middle here. And just to do something like that. Off of the back here we could do some kind of cul-de-sac. Maybe from right about here. We could do like a high school or elementary school. We'll do the elementary school maybe in the middle more. Just trying to see. We have a lot more space in here. Which is nice. Okay, we have a huge demand for residential. I think what we might do is take this guy. Let me see something. Take this here. And we'll curve this into that. Like that. I think we'll get rid of that one. And we'll do this straight. And this might connect into this residence over here, but loosely. Just maybe uh, one road that maybe comes off of here. And then this will connect down into here. I'm not sure yet. We'll concentrate on what we have right now. Now, for this, this is going to be the detailed area. Over here, I might do more of a fill-in. Um, and not leave as much space. Let them be a little closer together. So, why don't we go ahead and try that. Like I said, I want to try a couple of different elements to it. I think we'll just come to about there. We'll go in. Now we are going to have to run our water. I'm not going to do the inside corner here, but I will start around here and finish that. So now, as far as an elementary school park, I'm trying to say about middle. So I'm thinking. I don't like the way this comes here. I might take that road and just take it to here. Curve. And just curve it that way. I kind of like the way that looks a little better. And then I think in this area right here. I'll put the elementary school. Let's go back into zoning. Um, let's see. Let's dezone this one by one. And this one also. This one's fine with the two by two. Might take off just a little bit on the edges here. And I think I think I'm going to take this off completely here. And leave an elementary school right in here, which I can probably plop down right now because we have the money for it. Well, let's go ahead and do that. And let's dezone all of from here over. In fact, let's just do this too. There we go. 
And maybe no people across the street. And... Maybe do a park in here, over in this area, a playground, right over here. I will take this off as well. Alright, I'm good with that. So let's go ahead and turn the game back on. And let's start running some water. Because that is going to be an issue. Real soon. On this one. And again, one of the reasons why I run my water 460, not only is it efficient, but when it comes to now extending my water, it makes it so much easier when I have it already gridded out like that. So I'm just going to go 460. And now, because I'm going to build a square. Um, and I'm going to probably fill in the four corners. There we go. We hit our milestone. I'm just going to get out of that for a second. Pause it. Um, I'll be able to run these grids so much easier and faster once this square is ran. So now when I go and open up this square next to it, I'll just be able to pull this water right down straight in. And, you know, I ju it's just way more efficient, and it saves time later on. So I'm just going to go into electric really quick. I'm just going to go over to here. And I'm just going to pull this down to give them some power. And this guy was just moving in. I'm just going to pop that out a second. And I'm just going to grab... Here. There we go. Now, our economy needs to... Let's pay this back. Go into our budget. Let's turn us up to 100%. We're going to need it. The electric, 100% easy with this new neighborhood. Water, let's go up to 80. And now let's go ahead and check the milestone we just got we got policies whoops so yeah we got districts policies a second loan we got the emergency services farming forestry so yeah we're gonna leave this episode off here it was quite a long episode um no longer than usual because i'm not gonna do much editing if any editing i'll probably leave it all in so, uh, the next episode, we're going to address the milestone. We're going to start upgrading our roads. We're going to probably start working on, or at least looking at, farming in this area for industry. So, we got quite a bit to go. Um, yeah. So, we're going to leave that off here. And, uh, if you like my content and would like to see more, please click the like button and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.